welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I'm going to be making a French pear soap. Mmm. It's a lovely sweet fragrance that I've never worked with before and I'm hoping it works so come along with me and I'll show you how it goes. First off we're going to add our cooled lye water to our cooled oils. Everything at room temperature or around about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to be using the stick blender to bring everything to a light trace. I don't want to over mix because I've heard that this French pear fragrance can accelerate trace. So I want to watch myself. But it smells so sweet and almost a bit floral. So I really had to use it. So I've got a couple of really quite subtle colours here to represent the French pear. We've got silver mica and also a teal green mica. And into the base I'm chucking a bunch of silver embeds that I had. They were little people that I made out of cold processed soap but unfortunately when I popped them out of the mould they broke up into little pieces. So I'm just chucking them in because I'm using silver and I figure the silver blocks of colour will complement the wispy silver swirls. So now it's time for us to pour the soap in the mould and you can see the lumpy embeds going in. They are from a batch that I made probably six months ago and are pretty solid and well cured. So I maybe perhaps shouldn't have put them in the soap. Can anyone tell me why? You will see, stay tuned. So I'm loading up the colors silver and green and white and scraping out every last bit of soap out of the bowl because we don't want to waste it. I'm going through with the hanger tool and giving it a swirl. It's kind of pulling up the embeds, but that's all right. So now I'm plopping the last of my colors right on the top so I can give it a pretty decorative swirl, which I'm coming through now with the chopstick and doing. And I'm just kind of going all over the show, no real plan here, just swirling it up to try and give it a nice top, make that top look really pretty. Often, swirling the top is my favourite part of the whole soaping experience. A quick zoom in for you guys. Love that glossy wet soap. So shiny, so beautiful. And we're back again the next day to cut the soap. Now, my soap cutter has been so wonderful and has done all of these soap batches so well, but, oh, I broke it on this one. And how did that happen? Because of those super solid embeds. So I had to go ahead and use my good old trusty individual cutter and cut these bars with that. And my wonderful man restrung my cutter for me so I can go ahead and use it in the next batch. So here they are up on the curing rack and I put each swirly bar side by side because they look so beautiful. And I think the silver blocks do work quite well. I love the little swirl I got and I'm really happy with how the soap came out. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you a couple of photos. First of the wet soap in the mold and then of my favorite set of bars that are curing up on the rack, looking beautiful. And this week I'd like to highlight the lovely and talented Keisha Jones who shared her double soap batch in our soapy group over on Facebook called Star Soaps Family. If you'd like to have your picture highlighted then please come over and join the group and share it. I love seeing what you guys make inspired by me and I love having you guys in my soapy life. If you enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more like it, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, become a member of our Star Soaps family, and feel the soapy love. Bye! Scrub, bubble, leather, scrub, bubble, leather,